Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with EA Sports FC24 game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to disconnect and reconnect the controller. So disconnect it and then reconnect it and then launch the game and then check the controller. Still, the controller is not working, then restart the game. So if the game is running, close the game and then launch the game once again and then check the controller. Now the next step is to, now this is for non-Steam non users, so if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher or maybe um, on EA app, then in that case you can add the game to Steam. Now if you don't have Steam installed, you can go to this link and you can install the Steam. After you install it, create an account, log into Steam and once you're logged in, now you can add Steam to the, add game to the Steam. So go to steam and then on the bottom left over here you can see add a game option click on the plus icon and then click on add a non steam game now over here find the game in the list if you don't find the game you can click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed if the game is installed in c drive program files or maybe program yeah program files and then under EA games you might find the game or you can go to Epic Games maybe under program files or program files x86 so go to the game installation folder in my case the game is installed in different drive so open the EA Sports FC 24 folder and then select the game exe file so select it and then click on open and once the game is added over here now click on add selected programs and the, once the game is added over here on on steam now you can launch the game and then check if controller is working or not now make sure that you you close the game and make sure e app is closed before you launch the game so once you add the game to steam then make sure e app is closed close the EA app and close the game and then launch the game and then check the controller. Now the next step is for again for non-Steam users, add EA app to Steam and then launch EA app. So you have to, first of all, close EA app. If EA app is open, close it. Now once you close EA app and then click on this plus icon once again which says add a game and then click on add a non steam game and then select ea app in the list if you don't see ea app over here click on browse and then go to c drive open program files open electronic arts folder open ea desktop folder and then scroll down and here you can see ea, EA desktop select it then click on open once the game uh, ea app is added over here now click on add selected program and once EA desktop is added over here, now launch EA desktop app. So now click on play, which will open EA app. Now once it opens EA app, now launch the game and then check if the controller is working fine or not. Now still you are facing the problem in that case, launch Steam as an administrator and then launch the game. So for this, again make sure you close the EA app before you launch the game. So close the EA app and then close steam if the steam is open close steam i'm not closing but you close the steam and then type in steam in the window search box and then make a right, right click on steam app and then click on run as administrator and once you open steam as an administrator and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to delete the settings folder from fc24 documents folder and then disconnect and reconnect control controller on your PC. Launch Steam as an admin, launch FC24 through Steam. Now, for this, go to the Documents folder. So open File Explorer, go to Documents, and over here, you will see FC24, open this folder, and over here you can see Settings. You have to delete these settings. You might lose all the saved settings, and you might lose the game progress. So if you want, you can make a right click, and then click on Delete. Now once you delete the settings, 
now you have to open you have to disconnect and reconnect the controller on the computer now disconnect and reconnect the controller and then launch steam as an admin so if steam is open close it if your ea app is open close it and once you close it now type in steam in windows search box and then make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator now once you launch steam as an administrator now launch the game through steam and then check now the next step is to make sure you disconnect all the other peripherals so if you're not using mouse and keyboard you can disconnect it if you don't want to disconnect no problem but if you can you can disconnect mouse and keyboard also disconnect sometimes you have additional controller connected to the computer so if you have any additional controller or maybe the usb adapter connected disconnect it and then launch the game and then check also unplug these devices so if you have these devices connected to the computer so any external devices which you are not using so disconnect these devices and then launch the game and then check the controller also if you have any kind of virtual controller connected in that case you can disable it or uninstall it and then launch the game and then check the controller next step is to configure the controller now for this go to steam click on settings go to controller tab now over here if you have xbox controller you can put a check on xbox enable steam input for xbox controller and then check if you have playstation controller put a check over here and enable steam input for playstation controller if you have some other controller you can select enable steam input for generic controller so you can check you can configure the controller over here and then launch the game and then check next step is to for steam users this was also for steam users this is also for steam users disable or enable steam input now for this make a right click on the game on steam and then select properties and then go to the controller tab and then over here disable steam input first of all disable steam input and then check still the controller is not working you can enable steam input and then check so try both disable or enable and check which one is working fine for you now still you are facing the problem the next step is to again for steam users disable steam input now for this again make a right click select properties controller tab disable steam input now once you disable steam input now go to steam controller settings now click on steam and then click on settings now go to controller and then if you have xbox controller then turn on xbox controller if you have playstation controller turn on playstation controller so you can enable the steam input for your controller over here and then launch the game and then check make sure that you restart the game you you relaunch the game after you make changes now this is again disable steam input in steam controller settings now we have already we already did this so we don't have to do it do it again now the next step is to again for steam users go to steam controller settings and enable generic controller support and that is for if you are using some other controller you can select it which which i have already shown you so the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode and then launch the game so on the on the top right here you can see big picture mode icon click on big picture mode icon this will launch the steam in big picture mode now now you can find the game over here click on the game then launch the game when steam is is in big picture mode and then check the controller now still you are facing the problem and then the next step is to and this is for playstation controller user you can install rewasd application or ds4 windows application so i have it already installed so so if you have ds4 windows you can straight away open this so you can use ds4 windows and then check the controller so you can launch this ds4 windows and then detect your controller and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to and this is for xbox controller user open xbox 
open Microsoft Store and in the search box type in Xbox Accessories app and install this Xbox app Accessories app if not installed. If it is already installed, you will see open option over there. So launch Xbox Accessories app. Now once the download is complete, you have to open Xbox Accessories app and then you have to connect your Xbox controller using the USB cable uh, to the computer. So you can connect the controller using the USB cable uh, to the computer and once the controller is connected, then only you can update your controller using Xbox Accessories app. So using Xbox Accessories app, you can update your control, your Xbox control. Now click on open. Now on this screen, uh, you will see three dots over here. So first of all, you have to connect your Xbox controller using the USB cable to the computer and then you will see three dots over here. Click on three dots and then you will see update firmware or update controller and then update your Xbox controller and then launch the game and then check the controller. Now, if nothing is working, you can use wired controller. So you can connect your controller using the USB cable and you can launch the game and you can use a wired connection for the controller. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.